about a year and a half ago, I made a decision. I want to work in disc golf somehow, and I'm going to make it my mission to grow the sport in my country and all Latin America. Today, both things are happening. Now, in my one year anniversary with The Crown, I would like to share with you how is it to work at Dynamic Discs? How has the sport grown in Latin America? How far away are we from a Pro Tour stop in Mexico? And at the end, I'll show you something really cool that we are launching. Y si tú eres un jugador de disc golf que actualmente juegas y entrenas desde Latinoamérica, tengo algo muy especial para ti al final del video. So yes, about a year and a half ago, I was like many of you watching your average amateur disc golf player and a hardcore disc golf consumer with a real world full-time job. I followed all the Jomez, Gatekeeper, GK, hey, Ace Run, Central Coast, the disc golf guy, you name it coverage. I was up to date with all the pros activity. Everyone has to be rooting for the underdog. And yep, I was right there in Worlds 2019 rooting for the underdog as Jeremy said. And I played disc golf every time I had the opportunity to do it. And right there is where I saw the problem. My work brought me back from San Francisco, California to my beloved Mexico City. And guess what? In Mexico, a country with 135 million people, there were only four courses at the time. And the closest one to me was an hour and a half drive that I did every weekend during six months until I said, stop, let's do something about it. And I started to write a plan with two clear goals. Let's make the sport grow in Mexico and Latin America. Objective two, I need to make a living out of this project. Step one, quit my full-time job. Step two, think how. And one day, I got it. I've been working the past 10 years in content marketing creation and management for brands. And I thought, I can offer that to a disc golf company in return for investment in the Mexico project and of course a salary. I made a pitch slash presentation in a video and targeted a specific company. After making the video public, I sent the same video to other disc golf brands. I had conversations with Dismania, Udisc, Jomez, and of course Dynamic Discs. Some of them offered me a solid professional project, but only Dynamic Discs was willing to directly invest in the Mexico and Latin American project and was willing to give me a position inside of their marketing team. At the beginning, I was skeptical. I couldn't believe it. But then I met the people involved. These are good people that love the sport as much as I do and are willing to take the risk with me, not only in the Mexico project, but also allowing me to make changes in the current marketing structure. So yes, I moved from the fifth biggest city in the world to beautiful and exciting Emporia, Kansas. We decided to split my job into two main areas. I manage the media department and coordinate all the content strategies that goes along with all of our marketing plans. Why do you play this stuff? So much of being... We believe. I work with this fantastic team and we've done so many cool stuff over the past months and this year will be even better. And the other half of my work is to promote the growth of the sport in Latin America. And these are some things that we did in 2022 to make that happen. We donated 75 of our best baskets to be installed in two different countries and five different cities. We donated more than 300 player packs that include hats, towels, shades, and discs. Lots of custom premium discs. In one of the events that we sponsored, we brought 2018 world champion Pei Shu to compete. In that event, we gave 80 event customized paratroopers. You can see the coverage of that event right here in the channel. We sponsored the first Mexico disc golf players playing in Mexico, providing them with all the tools that they need to get better at the sport. Vamos equipo! We hired Giovanni Lizama, our social media manager, making us now five bilingual members in the team. Did you know that Danny Linhill speaks Spanish? <laughs> We made a special Dimax design to fund the Colombian team travel to the team worlds in Croatia. That one right there. They gave me this really cool shirt that they used in the tournament. All of that was exciting and fun to execute, but the real treat for me is actually seeing 
the dream come true. Allow me to share with you some numbers. First, look at the acceleration of members registered in the PTGA in Mexico alone, an increase of 2.4x compared to last year. We had an increase of 333% of all PTGA sanctioned events. Actually, 69% of all events ever played in Mexico were played in 2022, and we sponsored the great majority of them. Another really cool stat is the increase in practice rounds registered in 2022. Thank you very much, Udisc, for providing me with this monthly report and for the hat. Another really cool thing that happened is that we draw the attention of governments, public parks, and universities to invest in this new sport. <laughs> to work at Dynamic Discs and to see this dream come true step by step, it's been just wonderful. There is something really cool that I want to show you, but first I need to say thank you. Thank you to all the people that had helped in this project. From my friends, my family, the people in Mexico, Colombia, Puerto Rico, Belize, Spain, that had put money, time, and effort into growing this sport. Thank you to all the pro players that have made the travel to teach and inspire. To the friends that I've made in Emporia. But most and for all, to Dynamic Discs and the humans behind it. To Doug, Jeremy, Mike, Corey, Danny, Giovanni, Anthony, Temp, Noemi, Jackie, and much more. And to you, that backs a raider, a slammer, a felon, a harp, a stiletto. To all of you, thank you. We are not just saying it, we are growing the sport. And now, the announcement. We want to keep going with this mission. One day, Mexico will have a stop of the Pro Tour. Maybe somewhere in the next three to five years or even earlier. Colombia one day will have their own local important tour. One day, we will have a Latin American champion in one of these big events. But first, let's start from the beginning. Installing courses in the ground is priority number one. That's why we're gonna donate 76 more baskets to be installed in all regions of Latin America. Actually, the first set of baskets just shipped a week ago. We will continue to support our Mexican team and all the events in Latin America. And to do so, we need your help. We launched a really special collection of discs. The Grow the Sport Disc Line, Mexico Edition. Each one of these discs commemorates and honors one city in Mexico that currently has a disc golf community, a disc golf course, and a stop of the Mexican tour. Each of them has an icon from the city, a translated version of the mold, the name of the home tournament of the city, and the full collection connects a Quetzalcoatl, a pre-Hispanic god that represents the union of all the regions through our ancient culture. Go to the link in the description and help fund the mission to grow our lovely sport. And one last message to all Spanish speakers playing in Latin America. Si tú eres un jugador de disc golf que actualmente estás jugando y entrenando desde Latinoamérica, escríbeme a fabian.dynamicdiscs. Tengo 100 códigos para que uses la versión premium de la aplicación de Udisc, que es la aplicación número uno para disc golfers. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your time. See you around. See you in a tournament in Mexico if you want to make the travel. See you in a course here in Emporia. Hagamos crecer el deporte. Let's grow the sport.